Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Unholy Reset. Now, it looks like some things have been skipped since the last time I did this, but... Depending on how it's reading my save, I actually only have Dark Was the Night and Doctor's Revenge Challenge completed. I did Nine Deaths Meet Forever and Spider Boy on stream, but I'm going to still do them here. But, you know, let's do Seven Years Bad Luck instead. For those of you who don't know, and weren't here for the original Isaac Let's Play, um, this challenge is broken. And what I mean by that is, it, uh, it tries to set your luck to negative two, but due to a coding error, that's actually the maximum room luck you can have. It actually makes it so you have, I believe, a 97.5% chance upon completing every single room to get some kind of drop. Oftentimes it'll be a chest. And I'm listening to music that's outside the game, but you should only hear the game music if I have my mixer done right. Maybe you'll hear the tiniest bit from my headphones, but you shouldn't hear much, if anything at all, outside of the game. Like, ideally, it's much lower than the game music, if there's anything at all. <clears throat> so we've got Famine for the first boss. Real simple. Surprised he even spawned that fly, but the fly shouldn't give me too much trouble if I just keep to my side of the room. It's not generally a good idea to shoot at Famine while he's charging at me. Uh, now we have flies that we must deal with. It's okay. Ah, uh, charged a bit further than I expected. It's okay. We've still got this. No problem. It doesn't matter that we've taken damage on this floor. There is no way to get a devil room on the first floor without cheating. And this is still pre-everything is terrible, so we still, uh... We still don't have to worry about bosses not dropping enough health or anything like that. Oh dear. have much to talk about in most rooms. I hope you all are still relatively okay with that. I've got keys for the item rooms. I'll definitely bomb for that dime. Portable slot may get me one or two extra boss items, so that's pretty good. And now we've got enough for the shop. So the shop could actually be very interesting. Although, now that I do have the portable slot, it may be worth it to wait to spend my money until caves or catacombs to, because there's a good chance that I'll have an arcade on either of those floors. And if I get an arcade, I could get an IV bag. If I get an IV bag, the game is over. It'll be a win, but it'll be it'll be an extremely extremely long and grueling win. Just in terms of testing mine and your patience. Mostly mine, I will edit it down for time. Because it would be the exact same thing over and over and over again. Let's go in here just to see. Yeah, it's the ladder. I never really want the ladder. It's not the best item in the world. I will play this slot all the way down to five cents. 
Don't want to go below five. Five being the cutoff point for getting arcades to spawn. And there's no real reason to use bombs against Monstro. It's just slow and steady. We'll eventually take him down. It almost makes me wish there was a calmer set of themes for this game. Like, calmer theme music. Would occasionally be easier to contend with. I really miss my damage indicators from Spider-Mod. It's a shame there's no version of Spider-Mod that includes all the 1.5 changes yet. But supposedly Elucidator sent the change log to Spider. And that may wind up having the next, if not final, not probably not final, but the next version of Spider Mod will uh, in all likelihood con uh, include those changes, so I'll be I'll then be able to use Spider Mod for version 1.5 instead. I'm very interested by these telepills. An error room would be really nice. Could wind up giving us a very very good item. I forgot to play the portable slot down to five cents on the last floor. But I'm actually very happy that we got Fistula on this floor rather than the next. Because the last time I got to do the whole game breaking thing this method, I had to fight Fistula about 50 times. It's probably a slight exaggeration, but it isn't much of one. It was definitely more than 20. I definitely recall getting the boss room to... I think the first time I did it, the boss room went undefined. But here we can have 25 cents worth of plays. So let's get that started. We'll get down here in the corner. That'll help the flies spawn a little further away, like that. And now we can fight Fistula again. Fistula is not my favorite boss to be doing this for. But while I've got the money, there's no reason not to do it. Now I could save my... I could save my money and... Save my flies for mom's heart fight, or the Satan fight, or anything like that, but, uh, assuming I get what I want, I may wind up getting as much money as I want, and then I'll just take the portable slot with me to the next floor, and for the remainder of the game, because I'll be able to generate as much as I want. So let's just keep this gravy train moving. Two cents that I won't pick up. Not yet. I need to create a buffer for myself so these flies can have a place to safely spawn away from me. Hopefully I'm not getting too many pretty flies when I'm spamming this. Hmm. Donut shop coffee. There we go. Buffer strats. Now we have a consider considerable amount of bombs and keys, and the boss music has inexplicably stopped. 
Not sure what that's about. Game doesn't seem to understand that uh, the boss is still alive. Maybe it was triggered by there being X number of pickups on the floor, and it therefore thinking the boss had died to produce those. That would kind of make sense, but at the same time not. Oh, and the boss music has started back up again. It didn't stop again when those died. Not sure what's going on. Oh well. Let's see what this pill is. Tears down. That's unfortunate. Let's see if we can't get one more fly out of this before five cents. One more try. Well, at least we got loads of items. I won't pick up these soul hearts. There's no reason to pick them up before the end of the floor when I'm not in danger of dying. These flies can't hit me at the top of the room. Could use that in the boss room. It's unlikely to pay out with a fly on just one cent, but, uh, you know, the odds could be in our favor. Man, I am actually now in danger of dying very decent bit of danger. Oh. The this is not the room to do this in, but uh, if I can avoid backtracking to the boss room, then all the better for me. Okay. I won't take a soul heart, but I will see if there's at least one red heart in the boss room. I don't want to waste the soul hearts. There should be at least one. No, there isn't. Okay. Well, I'll just take one soul heart. Let me see if I can't drop this down a bit. I feel like the audio may have been a bit loud from the game side. Now with my new mixer, I can make adjustments like that on the fly. It's a pretty nice bit of technology that I've acquired since I last did this. And none of that's any good. This key is worth it, but there aren't there aren't enough doors on the floors that remain to even use up these keys. Uh, this will actually pay out. Oh no, it won't. That's right. If it's red heart damage that brings you down to half a heart from that thing, it's guaranteed to pay out. But if it's soul heart damage, then technically you were already at half a heart and it doesn't necessarily need to pay out. So these telepills still interest me. I will pick these up just in case of an error room before it. Eh. It was worth it for the chance at, a, at an uh, error room. I cannot remember if I've been to... Yes, I have. The secret room was the first place we went to with the first telepill. Let's see if... Uh, let's see if the secret room... The top secret room, I should say in here and I didn't mean to play that two cents damn well that's very unfortunate now I don't have money for an arcade on this floor which means I have a much lower chance of getting an IV bag 
bit more money. And a bit less health. A bit less still. If at all possible, it's nice to knock these guys onto the spikes. If memory serves, spikes deal like 22 or 23 damage to enemies. Roughly the same amount of damage as the candle. It's enough to one hit kill most enemies actually. These keepers I am not a fan of. These guys, I'm gonna need to I'm gonna need you to fire one more shot. Thank you. These guys are one of the main reasons I like speed so much. It's hard to know when they're gonna fire, but when they do, they tend to be a bit close. So if you can, if you can get out of their way very quickly, it helps. Speed also reduces the time it takes to backtrack, so that's always nice as well. And yet, even with high speed, my dodging skills are poor. Mom's Pearl will be nice. Extra 10% chance to get, uh, to get a soul heart from every non-specific heart drop. So, things like Bloody Penny, which isn't unlocked. Um, let's see, Bloody Penny, Little Chad, things like that. Those, uh, those still drop their half hearts every single time. It has to be non-specific. Those two things are specifically half hearts. But things like the portable slot winning me a heart, or a slot machine, or the uh, shell game guy, things like those paying out with hearts, it has a plus 10% chance of being soul hearts instead of red. Should really put out these red fires, but it doesn't matter that much. Just dropped back to aggro them again. I may die in this room. Shouldn't die in this room, but I may. Let's see what this is. Got the bombs for it. It's the Hermit. We almost have the money to make this worth it, but it is Catacombs 2, and that's where greed can start to happen. Oh, this is unfortunate. My only other source of health on the entire floor is that soul heart or the, it's that eternal heart and I really don't want that right now see the boss can't be fistula it could be peep it could be the hollow really peep is the one that I'm hoping for here that's about the worst one luckily monstrous tooth exists and the Carrion Queen is not one that I'll want to respawn. Because if you respawn Carrion Queen with the flies, I believe she becomes Buttless Queen. And that creates problems. Because she has no way of taking damage. I'll try it again. Oh dear. I moused over to my other computer. That messed up my inputs. Uh, 
Oh, that's explosive diarrhea. That pill's actually back, thanks to version 1.5. Sorry, you may be hearing my music. If you can, the music that I'm listening to is from uh, ocr.rainwave.cc. It's actually a really good video game remix station. It's just all tracks from overclockedremix.com or .org. I can never remember which one it is. Anyways, it's like an archive of really solid game remixes. Pretty much haven't been listening to much else. It's almost making me consider uh, canceling the subscriptions to the things I do actually listen to outside of it. But that would be wasteful because if I ever wanted to restart my subs to those things, it would cost more than it is costing me now. But I've now turned down the volume so it shouldn't get loud enough for you to hear again. If you heard it at all. So back to full health and we have Pageant Boy. Which will secure us a possible arcade on the next floor. But given that we came down to the floor with full health, we got one of these rooms. There is actually a fix in Spider Mod for this specific uh, ambush room spawn. But, I'm not actually certain that this ambush room is meant to spawn normally. Because you would think, well, five red flies is extremely easy. But it is the only ambush room with only two waves instead of three. So, I don't know. Well, outside of the boss ambushes. Sort of want you to go up to the top. Go to the top. Please go to the top. Go near the top so I can push your bomb. Uh, I'm not sure if the explosion radius would have hit the ceiling. Either way, it's not worth my one bomb really to check it. Widow, I should maybe be able to get a devil room off of. I already took damage. I have a 1% chance now. Got confused. Didn't see the spider spawner. Well, no chance. But code hanger is pretty good, especially with technology. Let's just find our way to the item room. Hopefully I can get a damage up or two. Much as I like technology, it's not a damage up, so... It does still lend itself to being something that doesn't scale all the best. Or it does scale well, it just doesn't play well on its own, like most items don't. Need some good items to amplify how well this one will play. Oh, crack the sky is not the most amazing thing in the world, but it does have a very high damage potential. Let's see what's in this shop. That's not really worth it. I don't have Lucky Foot, and I don't have PhD, so... It's not too much of a reason to get my hands on more pills that could potentially screw me over. They could give me Tears Downs, or Health Downs, or Speed Downs. None of which I actually want. Of course, they could all be the better ones, but... Currently, I'm not desperate, so there's no real reason for me to go out of my way for things that could potentially ruin me. It's 
kind of hard to judge where I should use Crack the Sky. Like, this one is not really that good. Also, I can't remember if Crack the Sky is a six room charge or a four room charge. Either way, this is a better spacebar item, so we'll just take this instead. Don't want the ladder. I've picked it up once. That's enough for my save. I'm okay with holy water. This will do damage to the doors on the mom fight. It'll change one of my familiars if I get any, but I don't even have most of the familiars unlocked. Don't have Robo Baby, that requires beating the game as Judas. Don't have Demon Baby, that one requires beating Satan with Eve. Don't have Rainbow Baby. I believe that one is beat the chest with Eve. At any rate, Holy Water won't be anywhere near a detriment to my play. It can only do well. Now, Peep, I should definitely be able to get a Devil Room off of, considering I came down here with some Soul Hearts, and he shouldn't damage me enough to get through my Soul Heart buffer to my Red Hearts. So right now, I should have roughly a 135% chance at a Devil Room. given that I have not killed any beggars. I'm also not carrying any of the items that will aid in my chances of getting devil deals. Yeah. That one was pretty much guaranteed. Oh, Lord of the Pit I will take. Once again, paying health for flight not a big deal. Especially when it comes with speed. But you know, everybody has their own preferences when playing this game. Who am I to say my choices are right? Make your own assessments. Umbilical cord is bad. Umbilical cord is actually one that it borderline encourages poor play because it doesn't, uh, or it rewards poor play almost. Because it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't keep its effect every room until you stop being at half a heart. It just gives you the effect once you reach half a heart, and then it goes away until you reach half a heart again from a different value. It's very strange. Oh, hey, game over. candle is so strong. It's been so long since I've been able to properly use it because of uh, just having the d6 every run. Luckily for me, Chubb has bomb resistance, but not candle resistance. Uh, I haven't taken red heart damage. Still get a devil deal. Now there's always the chance of dead cat, which always makes me weary about taking health upgrades into a devil room, but I will do it. Oh, Brother Bobby. Well, Brother Bobby won't be changed into Brother Bobby by holy water, so let's do it. And there's nothing I want from the shop really at this point, so the quarter is unnecessary.
Let's see, I have the map. I did not go in here. Cool, one up. If I had another bomb, I would almost want to replay the boss just to get another... Maybe another health up. If not, another damage up as well. Uh, not gonna take the pills. And I'm not too interested in the library. I can't roll in libraries. The only way I would actually get all the books books out of rotation is if they never double dropped and they showed up on like every single floor. Can't even do it. I won't even be able to go into my item room unless this is a bombs or key pill and I actually bother to take it. Friends till the end I will take. You know what, let's find out. Full health. I believe that was a real full health pill. I don't know if I was at... I don't know if I was only at half a heart, but... Where exactly is my item room? What in the hell? Oh, this is, uh... That's right. It's the seven years bad luck challenge. I always forget that that's one of the caveats to this challenge, is the, uh, the item room just has a chance of not spawning. Completely forgot about that. Well, that's unfortunate that I didn't get an item room, but makes me feel better that I don't have keys. We could try and find the top secret room, but I don't need it all that much, so I'm not going to worry about it. Mm, item room is not here. I'm not sure what I'm listening to right now. It sounds very Mega Man-ish. have an item room down here. Nope, this is the boss. I'm okay with this. Uh, well, luckily only the first hit counts for getting rid of your devil room chance. So now I only have 35% minus. Well, uh, Divided by... Probably divided in half. I'm dead. <laughs> now, I can't remember for sure if... Um, ruining your devil chance and then not taking damage without having killed the boss... I cannot remember if that actually... Um, makes it so you still have crap devil chance. You know what, I actually have probably somewhere around like 12%, 12.5 maybe, less than that even. Yeah, Devil Room wasn't happening for me. Now this looks like I might have an item room somewhere. There are enough end rooms. Very loungy sounding uh, Sonic 1 special stage music going on right now. It's 
It's not too much fun walking into a room and getting hit dead in the face. Little time to react. Not enough time to raise the candle over my head and fire off a shot. Ooh, that's tempting. But the candle is so much better for an offensive standpoint. I just realized I'm no longer looking for the boss. Looking for the item room. And I do have one. That's good. It's a speed upgrade. It's just the speed upgrade. The range part is broken. So back to the boss room we go. There's nothing else for us on this floor. And we do actually only need to finish this last floor, so... If I can just find the boss, I will be done with this challenge. Oh dear, that was completely my fault. Oh, I have an arcade. It'd be a shame if I went into that arcade and actually got an IV bag now. Boss? Hey, it's the boss, okay. I'm not even going to look for the item room because it's completely unnecessary. The challenge ends as soon as we kill mom. And with the candle, killing mom is a joke. It's really just a matter of not dying. There we go. Lucky Toe has appeared in the basement. And I won't even have you guys watch the credits, because we've seen them too many times. So I will see you guys next time.